in DaVinci Resolve, there are many ways to do the same task, but you often don't use the most efficient way to get things done. So in this video, I will show you how you can speed up your workflow and edit your videos faster. Let's begin with trimming clips. I use the keys Q and E to cut off the front and the end of a clip. You can assign these by clicking on DaVinci Resolve and then go to Keyboard Customization. In the search bar, type Ripple and then assign both of the short keys. Speaking of short keys, when you want to select all clips under your playhead, you can just press Alt Shift V to do so. You can also change the key for this in the keyboard customization. If you are using speed ramps a lot, you click around the retime curve a lot. So let's just assign a short key for the retime curve too. In my case, I want it to be the R key. Now you can access the retime curve much faster. And if you didn't know, you can add keyframes by holding down the Alt key and then left clicking on the red line. In DaVinci Resolve 18.5, they added the feature to stabilize multiple clips at the same time. Now instead of selecting each clip and pressing stabilize, you can just hold down control, select all the clips you want to stabilize and do it all at once. Another new feature of Resolve 18.5 is that you can now quickly export stills from the menu. Go to File, Export and press Current Frame as Still. DaVinci lets you choose between a few file formats, select the destination and press export. One of my favorite ways to edit is with two timelines stacked on each other. So you can drag clip from the top timeline to the bottom. To set it up, you need to press this button on the left and then go all the way to the right and press this button with the plus icon. Now you have two timelines stacked on each other. You could even go further and add another one. A great benefit of stacked timelines is that you can res change the resolution of them individually and edit horizontal and vertical content at the same time. The last tip is for the fusion tab. In earlier versions of DaVinci, you could only merge two nodes at a time. Now that I have added a new node called multi-merge. Press shift spacebar and search for multi-merge. With this node, you can now add multiple other nodes and merge them into one. If you are using this node regularly, I suggest you to add it to the quick access bar. Right click, customize, create toolbar, give it a name, and now just drag the node from the node tree into the quick access bar. It will sit there and you can just drag it from there into your node tree again when you need it. I hope you found these tips useful. Let me know in the comments and until next time.